He ordered someone on stage to press the switch. The switch was pressed, and a Wait. guitar caught fire. But then how would Lamiwar have heard... What? But she was uh, on stage during the second set. She was, she was busy teleporting. She was too busy teleporting. Here we go! I guess? Whoa! Yeah, think of the moment, the exact moment when the guitar caught fire. Whoa! I'm tired. Oh, we got a sex Mario. We got a sex Mario. Sex Mario, oh yeah. Um... Sex Mario did it. The exact <laughs> moment that the guitar caught on fire was after she teleported. Mm-hmm. Oh! Next door is like a tunnel to the other stage and there's a little platform? Like the little the little hole in the in the platform? Mm -hmm. she go, and then she go mm -hmm. up and then she teleport? Mm-hmm. And that's when she passed by that window and heard Darian well, and... Well, she wouldn't, she wouldn't be passing not, by not a window, window, right? But she passed by that room, but not not on that side. Huh? Oh, is the, the, the passage doesn't connect to the window. Passes through the vent. What connects to the Where is Where does this window go? Nowhere. It's not important. It's literally not even on the map. Okay, so okay. I see what you're saying. So she went So she went from the area between the like the drums and the piano down to the vents. And then up onto the second on the stage behind the audience, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they really, they really are not showing it on the map now. Oh even yeah, that's were, weird. Even though they were before, we saw it. Yeah. We saw it earlier. We did see it earlier. Like we saw, we know there's like a, there's like a vent system there. Whoever we'll photoshopped the second map did a much better job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she saw it through the yeah. vent. She saw, it, she heard it through the vent, not through the window. Yeah. Why did she lie yeah. about? That? Oh. Because if she lands, the she, wizard will kill her. Because the wizard will kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. I get. Okay, so I we've solved the case then. Yeah, we solved the case. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now all you gotta do is listen to the music video fifty times in order to get to that conclusion. Great, excellent, <laughs> love oh, it. No. Well, it does seem to make some sort of sense. But something about it is bugging me. I can't quite put my finger on it. Really? This seems pretty simple to me. Her forehead? Don't you don't destroy what little respect I have for you. I was expecting something a little more sensible. I guess I was wrong. What's this all about, Prosecutor Gavin? His simple story simply makes no sense. Think that night my guitar caught fire. Yes, the cause may have been this indeed. However, the guitar got fired during the second set. Ah, that's right, of course. Okay, so what happened during it happened during it happened during this Jesus Christ. Alright. The guitar got fired Number during two. Lemmy War's song. Indeed, yet the shooting happened during the third set. The two were utterly unrelated. Yeah, magician's like, well, that sucks for the kid, but I got my reputation to uphold. <laughs> yeah. Magic, magic is more important than your feelings. Uh, fuck this wizard. This wizard sucks. Yes, that must have been what was bugging me. The whole premise for this is faulty. No, it's not. See, the story makes his story makes no sense. Objection! Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> what exactly do you mean, Mr. Justice? Maybe it's not the premise for my explanation for the switch that's at fault. Oh my god, and the fucking autopsy report is purposely ambiguous about the time. Mm-hmm. We know about the time of the of the death, but not the time of the shooting. Oh. Maybe it's our premise for the entire case so far. Oh my god, we know the time of the death, but we don't know the time of the shooting. What the fuck? What premise is this specifically? I'm glad you asked. 
I'm saying that maybe the killing didn't take place in the third act. Let's go, cool music. What's this? But, Det but Detective Emma Sky heard shots and found the body. All of this happened in the third act. Gunshots rang out. And according to his testimony, Moxie was in that dressing room at the time. Where are you going with this, Mr. Justice? This is the best track in this fucking game. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, it's so good. Stay with me, Your Honor. He also explains this in his testimony. Namely, that the victim had already been shot. We all heard gunshots, but no one saw the shooting. This... this is insane! Just before the shooting took place, the shooter was heard on his headset, telling someone to press the switch. The next moment, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. We know that a remote trigger igniter was inside the guitar. From all these facts, we can draw only one conclusion. The crime did not take place during the third act, but during the ballad performance, the second act. What? Order, order, order. This truly is a turnabout. Yeah. But that it was against the evidence. What does your honor? This crime was carried out according to the lyrics of the song, yes? Hey, he's right! Look! The bullet is supposed to come after the fire! You're thinking about it the wrong way. Huh? Look. Why would the shooter craft the events of the day to follow the lyrics anyway? Yeah! Yeah, why? Thank you! <laughs> it's not a whole lot of trouble to go through. With little merit for the person doing it. Well, I'm sure whoever did it was had his reasons. Yes, they did. A reason that made it advantageous to follow the lyrics. You're saying the order was reversed on purpose? I get well, it. A reverse prosecutor, Gavin. If the criminal followed the lyrics strictly, then yes. The shooting would have had come after the guitar burst into flame. Yet, her forehead has raised another possibility. He's claiming that the bullet came not after, but just before the fire. I'm gonna put it better myself. You were only meant to think the shooting came after the guitar burst into flames. That was the criminal's objective. The crime followed the lyrics to a point. But that was that was the ruse. It was a distraction. <laughs> Why else would the killer risk discovery by moving the body? Also, like, can we just acknowledge that, like, Machi's there for some reason? Yeah. Like, if thought, thought... Machi's trying to get away with murder, why would he just lay there and take a nap? Yeah, I can't believe that this was a successful framed job. Like, the police really saw this and thought, yeah, the logical conclusion is that the killer would lie down next to his victim in some kind of weird ritual. <laughs> <laughs> It's some weird Borginian ritual that we don't understand. <laughs> trying, to cast, trying to cast rays on the body. <laughs> that was the final touch to make us think he followed the lyrics the whole way. <laughs> no, that makes sense. That's how murder works. Oh, okay. I've, I've never done a murder, <laughs> so I guess I wouldn't know. Odar. Kid playing a Yamcha pose. <laughs> oh my god, he is. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> he got the igniter attached to him and blown up. Oh, my. There were Cybermen involved. <laughs> I'm just in the most unusual situation. It does. The killer changed the order of events to create himself an alibi. In other words, the killer was someone who had an alibi for the third step, but not the second. I was hoping it would come to this, but sadly it has. Let me tell you why your little fairy tale makes no sense at all. Oh, it sounds good. I'll give you that. You've given us a reason why the killer bothered following the lyrics of my song. Hold on, let me check. Okay, I do have the mixer still. Yep. But I question your logic, for it's flawed from the very beginning. Flawed? Yes, a contradiction here, forehead. What I've pointed out several times, no less. At the time of the crime, the small window of the scene was closed. 
How could Lammy War have heard a voice do it? Uh -huh. I know that I you would like to divert our attention from this critical fact, but you're basing your entire line of reasoning on a false premise? Right. I know this is one of the entire case. The voice she heard. The shooter's voice. But what if she couldn't hear it, Apollo? Look, what do we have? A man saying, press the switch. And near the crime scene, we have a switch. Which acts as the remote trigger for an igniter. And last but not least, Prosecutor Gavin's flaming guitar. And his flaming outfit. <laughs> can't all be coincidence, but how do I make it work? I see a more direct line of questioning is required. When the crime scene was investigated immediately after the crime, that window was closed. Can you tell us how Lemuar heard the voice? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I know how. A key point, to be sure. Mr. Justice, can you explain this to the court? Yeah, okay, Justice. We just got one thing to prove, and one thing only. I remember I heard a voice. And she heard it during the second set. Think, how was Lemuar able to hear the voice? She has divine hearing. <laughs> she has god ears. <laughs> when we investigated the scene, the window was closed. The shooter had no reason to close it. It had been open. Had it been open either. Meaning it was impossible to hear the voice through the window. Ah, it's good to hear you're making sense again. For a moment, I was afraid you might be Borginian too. Hey, kind of racist, racist, bud. It means prejudice. They're so white. Yeah, I got. Yeah, that's fair. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, Lemuar could not have heard the voice through the window. So there can be only one explanation. She heard the voice from another location entirely. Watch this. <laughs> you do amuse me so. And here I thought you and Good Sense were back on speaking terms. Now I'm afraid you and Good Sense speak two entirely different languages. Shall I interpret for you, Hair Forehead? Let me work clearly stated she heard the voice through that small window. And there was only one small window at the scene. Are you sure about that? So <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Isn't there another small window at the scene? There is. I know that look. He wants us to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. You claim that everyone heard the voice from the location? If the justice show us where the location was. Follow Justice the Vampire Attorney. He has to ask permission first. This is where Lamar heard that voice from. But, but that's no small window. That's the air vent. What did she tell us? She said that she's a Borgidian and unfamiliar with her language. It's not a stretch to imagine she called the air, this air vent a small window. Oh! Hey, that makes sense. Now you've done it! You've gone beyond ridiculous and into ludicrous speeds! <laughs> so Lemuar was up in the ventilation system listening to this man's voice? The only logical explanation, yes. Logical? I do not think there's this- I don't think- uh, I do not think this word means what you think it means, her forehead. We can't have a nice turning game without at least one Princess Bride reference. Yeah, th no, that's totally <laughs> fair. It's- I- I'm okay with it. A serious tradition. Yeah. Okay, what about it isn't logical? Ha! <laughs> it hardly merits saying. Why would Lamuar be in the ventilation system? Hiding like a rat. No offense intended to her, of course. She vented. She vented. <laughs> like in a she's, she's sus. She's a sussy baka. The explanation for this is simple, Prosecutor Gavin. Isn't it, Lamuar? You've been listening to this I, to our entire discussion, haven't you? I'm gonna be real. Fucking for clean for clear, just clean forgotten she was there. <laughs> she's just on the stand for like 25 minutes. It's like, yeah. can, I, can I speak, please? Can I? 
I I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go get a coffee if you guys are just, okay. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> yes. I admit it's had me quite confused since yesterday. Yes, the small window was closed, but why should that mean I could not hear through it? I feared our prosecutor might himself need an interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> She's like this freaking idiot. <laughs> She's so stupid. Problem here is words. I remember why the small window through which you heard the voice. Was it up high on the ceiling of the room? Not low on a wall? Yes, it was up on the ceiling. What? Order, order, I will have order. Oh, we blacked out. Oh, <laughs> Witness, you will clarify the statement of the court. Are you in fact saying that you were up above the ceiling of the room? And that's what you heard at the moment of the crime? Yes, in fact I was. I am sorry, I never imagined it would become such an important point. Yes, well, why the heck were you up there? I believe it's time for another Fuck testimony. Off. I I'm not sure I I can't. Hey, remind you this is a murder trial. Who will hear your testimony? Why is wizard ethics more important than murder ethics? <laughs> wizard ethics. <laughs> Ghost ethics and now wizard ethics. Ugh. Meaning this one's new. Yeah, sorry, I was just yelling really hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you witnessed this crime from above the ceiling of that room. Please. Well, it looks like I'm on the right track. Just try to talk around it, you know? Yes, I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. I had heard there was a uh, small window there before. It was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I had heard. As to why I was there, I cannot say. I am bound to secrecy on this matter. Bound to secrecy? In my line of work, one has many obligations to uphold. You said you were in the middle of your performance. So did, this did happen during the second set. I did not witness the crime, you must understand. I only know what I heard. Yes, but you must tell us what you were doing in detail. That's what the cross-examination is for, y'all hair forehead. Our mission in this court is to discern the truth. No obligation, no binding pact may hinder that mission. Uh, very well. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. Oh, I'm gonna make the wizard so mad. I mean, but, he's already gone. He is already gone. He did just like take a train out to the middle of fucking nowhere. Big. Uh, he's so suspicious. Why is he so <laughs> suspicious? What? What are you gonna do, Apollo? I wanna find out the truth. He's up above that ceiling for a reason. I just have to get her out of here. Alright. I mean, I know why. We know why. We literally know. Like, you would think that her saying that she's bound to secrecy would make, like, a click in Apollo's brain. But it doesn't. Mm. This is something that he was literally told basically immediately before the trial. And he's just like, uh, yeah, no, I have no idea what she's talking about. Do, do we have any, like, direct evidence of the magic trick there? Or do we just have the tape? LBL. Uh, I mean, I, like... It's, 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 it's time, huh? I mean, like... But, like... They got rid of where the fence... That's the tape, isn't it? It's finally come to this. So would it be... Doing I cannot say. Wait, what? Oh. And then tape? Yes. 
That noir, truth be told, the reason for your presence above the ceiling is quite clear. Especially when you consider what happened during your performance. What happened? Yes, it's all right here on this video. Oh boy. At least they have the. At least they have the decency to not show the entire thing. Yeah, at least they. At least they were kind enough to not make me sit through the entire thing. Zoop! <laughs> she just falls down, <laughs> breaks her kneecaps. Yeah, this is, seems like a dangerous stunt. Like, considering how fast she has to move to do this? Like, she's not climbing up and down ladders. Yeah, that's why uh, she was in a hurry. Alright, we saw it. We saw it? We saw... We saw the thing? I was going to see again. That's fine. Take a shot every time you see that video. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna kill her! As you can see, Labrador was clearly on stage for the entire performance. This is also a dangerous stunt for a blind person, yeah. Though it saddens me to be so realistic. Lemuar is incapable of actually vanishing, let alone teleportation. I don't believe you. <laughs> the only explanation is that she was hidden from view. And during that time, she moved to the back part of the forum. Apollo! W what, Tracy? It's not nice to reveal the magician's secrets, and it's against the rules. You're like Trucy. fucking- You're like fucking Penn and Teller, Apollo. This sucks. <laughs> but I'm a lawyer, I'm not supposed to be nice. It's, it's all very fascinating. But how is it possible? There's only 20 seconds between she when she disappears and reappears. She couldn't have moved that fast. <laughs> Look at him sweat! Apollo holding a puppy dog in his arm saying, I'm not nice! <laughs> is there something wrong, Prosecutor Gavin? This was his concert, his show. He knows how the illusion was performed. Aha! Uh -huh. He's just realizing his own oversight. Like, yeah, Trucy, someone died. Like, that takes precedent. Precedence over, like, your magic rules. Shut up, Trucy. <laughs> Let's look back at the cross section diagram again. Hey, there's the... Takes a route through the ceiling. There's the hidden sections again. He goes from the stage through the backstage to the rear of the forum. Ah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Recall Lemuroar's testimony from yesterday. Yeah. I know. I know, dude. I'm aware. Go from the stage to the backstage exit. Or a description of the route above the ceiling. I never wire knew of this because of her part in the illusion. Because she wasn't the only one who knew. What? She's now in the lobby, and now she told me something. Yeah. Oh, he talked. Oh! He said that? Oh, were you not informed, prosecutor Gavin? I, I knew about the vanishing act, of course. Yet I had no idea of the route that would be used. Why didn't the magician tell me? Magicians only reveal details of their acts on a need-to-know basis. They're the bread and butter of a, of a magician's life, you know. Which is why keep bound Lemuroi to secrecy. With a spell, clearly. <laughs> he cursed <to> her. <laughs> well, Lemuroi. I am impressed, Mr. Attorney. Machi was right about you. So, what does this mean? Are you saying you used this route above the ceiling? I did. Well, that's that. But I'm still a little confused. Why is that, Your Honor? As I said before. 
Dear God. All right, fourth time, I think. Right? Yeah. It was really the time between when she disappeared and when she reappeared. Twenty seconds tops. How could she do it so fast? Especially if she stopped to hear the shooter's voice. That that's a good question. That is a good question. Could the witness please explain this to the court? I cannot. Very well. Mr. Justice. Yes. It's all up to you. Do your thing. How did she do that? How did she do that? How did she do that, though? Time warp. <laughs> yeah! Is she a time, time witch? Man. Maybe the, uh... <laughs> the brooch. What about it? Check it. Check the video. Uh. <sighs> I've gotten through a, a lot of this trial without needing to do it, right? Right, so she has the brooch. No. She has the brooch there. There's actually a, a decent chunk left in this trail, so we have to call it at the break. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Dang. Can I... And she doesn't have it, and she doesn't ending. have it there. But that doesn't explain how she did it in 20, se 20 seconds. You need to explain how the robot was able to teleport that she did. Or throw your case out with a bath water. Oh no. Uh -huh. How do I get picked on? It's not my who wasn't going along with the program here. But is there is there a break coming up at the very least? Yeah, you have like... After you solve this, you've got like one more testimony to present on, and then I think you're done. Yeah. Okay. At least you're done with the, you're, you have the break, and then the, after the break, there's like six testimonies. I think like it's it's quite a long last section. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, so I think Biona is confirming that like that was not in the original DS version. Yeah. Oh, I, you skip I, I suspected as much because I remember having to watch it over and over and over again. That's good. It's good that they let you skip through that. So, so I also feel pretty good that I haven't had to go reference it much. As I have One stated time. before, I am not at liberty to speak of the illusion that night in detail. Damn yeah, magicians trapping you in magical contracts. <laughs> <laughs> then you just have to tell us what you can. Charles, a lot has happened. We solved the crime. We've so we've solved it. We just have to wait for the game to catch up with us. Mr. Justice, it will be your job to bring the truth out of her. Yes, if you would, please. Right. If I feel like a student before finals. Good luck, Apollo. <laughs> I'm not gonna help. <laughs> Fuck you. I followed the route exactly as I was instructed. There is an emergency exit in the backstage where a stagehand waited. From there, we can enter the forum on the opposite side of the stage. The plan was for me to move there in two minutes. I was two on my minutes. way when I heard the voice. Two minutes? Two minutes. Um, two minutes, you say? The mystery deepens. Two minutes? I suppose it was too much to hope the judge would come up with something. Hmm. As was my curiosity. Take it away, Mr. Justice. Right, Your Honor. What? All I have to do is find the contradiction between what Lamuar is saying and what we can see pl plainly in that video. I figured it out. I figured it out already. I, mean, I am a magician after all. Well, tell me. Not a chance. I can't reveal another magician's secrets. Fuck you, Come on! Juicy. Hey, you're supposed to be on my side here. Fuck your wizard contracts. Okay, so I mean, I, I mean, we can obviously tell what the contradiction is already, right? 
that, that, just gonna, like, that two minutes. You're just gonna press on it, though. Ask, uh, press on it? Yeah, ask for more info. Hold it. Two minutes? Yes, it can be done in one minute if you are running. Running? In that cramped, dark tunnel above the ceiling? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, have you forgotten? Dark or lit, it makes no difference to me. He plays every show, page. <laughs> so you're saying that in the night of the concert, you made the trip in two minutes? Yes, though I nearly didn't make it in time. You see, I stopped halfway. I remember I disappeared on the video for 20 seconds. But she says she made the trip in two minutes. How? Time distortion. <laughs> if you want my so professional opinion, I'll bet the answer's right there in that video. Well, Mr. Justice, perhaps you have some evidence for us. Something that can explain the discrepancy between the video and her testimony. Fiona, I'm pretty sure this magician would be held in contempt of court. If they just refuse to testify based on, oh, it's a magician secret. Yeah. Well, like, then again, there have been cases where weird contract stuff prevents people from talking about stuff in court. I mean, yeah, because a lot of the time, like, a, a, wizard's <laughs> a wizard's tricks are, like, they're copyrighted, right? Yeah. So, that, so then revealing the secret behind the trick would be infringing on that copyright, so they can't or really do it. Yeah, or they're bound by NDA, and the only way to legally void the NDA is by, you know, finding the person who created it and making them, allowing them to create a special exception, which often involves comp financially compensating them. Yeah, so, I mean, there is some, I guess there's, I guess this case has legal precedent for this. Yeah, it just, it is still really stupid, though. Like, it's still really fucking stupid. At no stupid. point. Yeah, like, you think, Lemon Mars seems like a good person. You'd figure that she would go, okay, screw it, I don't care what happens to well, me financially. Also, we've established NDAs already. Just like, have Lemon Mars mention that she signed an NDA. That's it. That's all. Uh, so I'm gonna present the tape, right? No, the, bro the brooch? The brooch. Evermore, do you remember what happened to this brooch? Oh, the brooch was filled out yesterday, did we not? So, Royal says, maybe between Ace Attorney 3 and 4, they passed a the magician protection law or something. <laughs> <laughs> you was found at the scene, Your Honor. And you're bringing this up now. Why? I thought we'd already determined when that was dropped. So did I. But we hadn't. Oh, yeah, because that was obviously bullshit, right? Yeah. Because she didn't actually peek into, the, like, through the door. Mm hmm. Why did. Okay. Take another look at the video. Please, no. Please don't make me. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't <Nine>. escape. <laughs> you cannot escape from death. Here you can see she's wearing the brooch. Mm, so she is. Let's look a little bit later. Yeah, let's. Look at that clipping. What? what? The brooch, it's gone. What? Yes. The brooch disappeared in the short space of 20 seconds. I'm not like as far reclined in my chair as I can possibly be. So I'm ready to fall asleep. <laughs> it takes a full minute to run from the stage to the backstage. Which means there can only be one explanation. The Lemoire we see before the va vanishing after and the Lemoire we see after. Are two different people? Are two different people. What? <laughs> it's a clone. What? we found it before the crime scene. Huh? What? Huh? There's no way I could have... <laughs> no, Ness. 
No. Oh, no, no, wait, there are. One of them is blind and the other one isn't. <laughs> And not just on the floor, but on the floor directly beneath the air vent. Well, not directly. It's like directly it bounced a bit. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Number sticking his phone. Tell me. Did you drop the brooch on your way to the stage from the backstage? At the very moment you witnessed the crime. Yes, I think I did. Or Prosecutor Gavin. From your expression, I gather you had no idea this was the case, Herr Judge. I, of course, knew about it. Oh my god, is that why what? your name is Lamiwar? Because, like, it's the mirror and it looks like there's two. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I wasn't hiding it. It has never occurred to me that the switch and the shooting took place at the same time. So, oh, I was right. There was a switch. There was. Just before the stage's tower rose, Lamiwar was replaced. What was the subject? Just who was the replacement of Lamiwar? What? The man behind the What? Oh, or not. Okay. He was really good drag. What? <laughs> Why? The man behind the illusion. Valid. Check, check his age again. Oh, are they the same age? 44. He just is phenomenal. He just phenomenal drag, and he wore a skin mask. But he's yeah, but he's got a mustache. Come Listen, on. so did Caesar. So did Caesar Milan when he did the with the Joker and. Uh, so wait. Uh, Caesar, Caesar Romero with the Joker in the, the 1960s Batman series. They still have makeup over that. So this one is the real Dami War then. And then this one. Oh, I guess she wears the face covering though, doesn't she? Yeah. So it's kind of hard to make out her face. And that's Valent. Yeah. You know what? It is hard to make out detail, isn't it? Just based on how... The one without the brooch, the real one. The one with the brooch is Valent. Oh, no, you're... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you... Wait. Yeah, you're right. So that's Valent. Yeah. Is there any way you could possibly tell? I don't think so. No, they look identical. I mean, it, it didn't. This is this is just a bad twist, actually. Because you have no way of like knowing at all. Yeah, I, I thought, uh, I didn't remember how they explained this part. I thought it, they would explain it was a sort of, like, a mannequin or something. We should have just known the Tupac wrote, and it's like, yeah, it was a hologram. Yeah! <laughs> it's 2026 or something, right? Yeah, I think so. It was Grammarai? Grammarai. God damn it. <laughs> I'll never get used to that. That's quite the illusion. But I still don't get one thing. Yes? Again. The switch happened before the tower rose, correct? So you weren't on the stage. That's right. But this sort of fake Lemur Wire is still singing. And she's pretty good. That's true. Come on, Apollo! Cool. That's an easy one! They were just playing a recording! She was lip syncing. <laughs> The Gavin is on some kind of air guitar band, Fraulein. Oh, you mean I'm wrong? When we play a show live, we play live. No recordings? Perhaps you can explain, Lemuar? Very well. Yes, do tell. Add it to your testimony as Why well. Why does it matter that... What? More info, please? Yeah, please. Elaborate? You were singing? Yes. 
Mr. Gavin expressed a dislike for recordings, so I used this. Wait, so you were singing the whole time? Oh my god, was that her fucking earpiece? Wait, that- uh, I don't no, think it would have what? gone no. all that way. Yeah, she was no. in the vents, not, not in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but, but I mean like, it could have fallen from the vent and then the killer could have kicked it out the door as they were leaving. Even when the ceiling- you're crawling over the ceiling towards the backstage? Why should it matter where I sing when everywhere I go is the same darkness? I'm just looking at the camera, does everyone just see him just looking down at nothing? Yeah, I think so. I imagine so. Oh no, maybe he's looking at like the person offering the testimony. Yeah. Yeah, because they would be directly in front of him. But if you were singing while you were walking... That's right, wouldn't the shooter and victim have hurt? She was singing right over their heads after all. That is right. The speakers? Are you sure? You have to be pretty hard of hearing to miss something in the singing in the ceiling. Once again, we come back to the state of the state of the crime. What state? Arkansas. <laughs> ah, I know what he means. The old speaker, Apollo. A speaker. Why is he called Arkansas, not Arkansas? <laughs> America, explain. <laughs> Speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. No, it's a flashback. Oh, this is a flashback. Satisfied? That dressing room was fitted with a large speaker playing a direct feed from the stage. At my request, actually. But Lemonworth singing in the ceiling. It sounded just like Lemonworth singing over the speaker. Ingenious. The voice was hidden by her voice. Ah. Remember why? I have just remembered something. Uto. When I heard the noise, the gunshots, yes? It startled me, so I... So you... I stopped singing. What? I forgot the words I was supposed to sing. The song stopped? Did it? Thankfully, it was the very beginning of the second verse. So, not many would notice. Oh, fuck off. Shut up. Apollo just brings it around with his back in his backpack. <laughs> Forehead, that mixing board I lent you, where is it? The, the mixing, huh? The machine, Apollo, the one that breaks music into tracks. Oh, this. I completely forgotten about it. Why is it blue in the thumbnail, but green? When we use it, effort. People cared about this case a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Interact directly with the soundboard. Ugh. Let's take a listen. Oh fuck me! Which one is which one is she? She's Wait, number one. I can't do anything with this right now. Not You're yet. Literally making me watch all the way. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome. This is the sixth time. Definitely flicks the lights off, off and on and off. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. <laughs> this is the part, I think. She, sa she says pleasure once. Jesus Christ, that was jarring. <laughs> the song does stop there. What? It does. I must have missed it. Look at the lyric sheet at the top of the second verse. Oh, so she missed one word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even 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 after missing one word, the second one came in late as well. Okay. See where it says pleasure, pleasure? Now listen again. Please no! Please no! Please no! Yes. Please no! <laughs> Seventh time! Hell world, hell world, <laughs> hell world. Hell world, hell world. Hell world. 
This is evidence indeed. Oh, dear God. Sure it is. I believe you are guilty of making a terrible mistake. The crime didn't happen during the third set. It happened during the second, during Lamuar's ballad. If that is true... Wait, then that means Machi was on stage, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. And then no one on stage during the second set could have been the shooter. Which means that Darian Crescent could have done it. He wasn't on stage for the second set. Uh-huh. So if you hear what you have to say about that... Well, Prosecutor Gavin... Fascinating. I don't believe I've ever seen a trial turned around quite so thoroughly. Yet one problem remains. Watch that, Prosecutor Gavin. Her forehead's theory does have a certain kind of logic to it. Yet it is entirely based upon Lemuar's testimony. Yes, is no, there a problem with this? No, we have literal evidence that you have corroborated and you have, huh? Oh. Well, it's quite simple, though it pains me to say it. What if she is lying to put you put da put da da but you come ha ha hoo hoo boy okay all right this needs to end this need this needs to end what if she is lying to protect the defendant if uh, they were any more relief there we have to call him Kermit I cannot believe this but you have no proof. All I'm saying is that the truth is as yet unclear until we hear directly from the man himself. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they, there's so many interesting ideas presented in this game. Like, you know, Xavier's brother is accused of murder and then his best friend and bandmate are accused of murder and he reacts like 0% to either of those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this, I think part of the reason why this is the single weakest case in the in the series is not only is it bad on its own, but it structurally weakens the game as well. I mean, yeah, it's because like it's way too self-contained. It, it, lo like... it lowers it lowers, only... it lowers your opinion of every recurring character that takes part in it. We only have three cases with most of the principal cast because case one is very small in scale. Yeah. And of those three cases, one of them is a complete waste of time that denigrates everyone and just is, is entirely useless. Yep. Doesn't offer any meaningful uh, growth or development. character development or yeah. anything it's like just, that. It's just, it's, this is nothing. Nothing is happening. Pure, pure filler and a, a delivery device to introduce the wizard, uh, Valent, and uh, Lemurwar. Like, it's assassinating like every character that we may have come to like in the second case. Like, it's just like, I liked Clavier. I liked Emma. Yeah. I don't like Clavier as much now because of this case. I, st I still like Emma, but boy, she's fucking bad at her job if this case is anything to go by. I love how they even include the line about her superior making fun of her and whatever. It's like, yeah, you kind of deserved it, huh? Yeah, you did deserve it. <laughs> you kind of deserved it. You did a it. sloppy bad job. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, I think we're close to the end. Anyway. We, okay, so we're about to hit the save point. After the save point, you have to take down Darian, but he has like six yeah. testimonies. Yeah, so, so I think we're, we're going to call it. No, no, that's what I mean. I mean, I'm, I mean, we're close to the end as in we've, we're going to hit the save point and then we're done with the stream for today and I can go sleep. Yeah, because yeah. no one wants to keep playing this case for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> This man, you don't mean... Yes. That, though he is a, that man. Though he is a friend and band member, Darian Crescent must take the stand. I see no other way. Big smile. I thought... Was, we, I thought we were going to call the wizard. <laughs> oh, he's, no, he's out the of wizard town. Is gone. He's out of town. He fucked off. As someone with a new perspective on the case? As a suspect, to be frank. I think it's so funny that they they accidentally made um, they accidentally made Valent so suspicious in this case. They had to just outright say who the killer was so that you don't suspect Valent. Yeah, he's so <laughs> suspicious. It's like it's like he's not even like he's not even involved, 
but he's implicating himself so hard just by being the most suspicious motherfucker ever. Yeah, he's like, wow, this murder was really good for publicity, and then immediately after that, all I care about is publicity and fame. I will make the, gra the grammar is great again. Also, I'm gonna leave town right now. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna explicitly Bye. say I'm going to lay low for a bit. Have yeah. Fun. Like fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a tape that it's going to be important later, and you'll have to watch it a billion times, and then I'm gonna fuck off. Goodbye. Yeah. Like fuck. At least you got to leave this case. Yeah. Finally, the rat's coming out of this hole. Out of this rat hole. <laughs> and I'm ready to catch him. Darian Crescent, get ready for justice. This is as good a time as I need to pause for a brief recess. I agree, Judge. Thank you. <laughs> a recess. Prosecution will summon the witness. Thank you for your mercy, O oh benevolent Judge. Have him here and ready by the time we begin. I'm the last man who needs to be reminded of what his duties are. Very well. Court is adjourned for a 15-minute recess. Huh? Like, the, worst, the worst part about this case is that the second half of this trial, so just, just Darian's section is about three times longer than the entire last day of court for the last case. What the fuck? <sighs> that was... We didn't lose our shit nearly as much today, right? Did we? Because we were steeled. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I, was, I was actually mentally prepared for what we were getting in for. But I did still lose my shit a bit. I... Still, you yeah. still hit the desk. I I still hit the yeah. desk. I I hyperventilated at one point because I was just actually <laughs> ju I have going to have a panic attack. Yeah. Um. And you and you were kind of losing it a little bit during the the start of the investigation uh -huh. too. Uh huh. This uh. This case sucks. A lot. You know, some sometimes the shit breaks you. It sure does. 